Hi, how are you? My name is Damien. I'm a Realtor, a member of the National Association of Realtors. My favorite day is closing day when those folks get the keys. Um, they have a smile so wide. Hi, my name is Johanna Dominguez. I live in Buffalo, New York, and this is Valinor. I was living outside of New York, working in New York City and living in New Jersey. I was paying for rent, I was paying utilities, I was paying taxes, I was paying garbage, I was paying sewer, I was paying everything and maintaining the garden. And then one day it was just, why am I paying all this and investing in someone else when I could invest in myself? For a lot of folks that I meet, especially younger folks, they always deem buying a home something that older people do. And that, that has changed in the last few years, and I feel that's due to rental prices. You know, For a young guy coming out of college to pay 1,500 bucks for a two-bedroom home, you know, I could probably get them into a four-bedroom home for half the price. So the millennials are becoming a lot smarter about the usage of money, realizing that this is the tool to getting to where we want to be. Damien is super confident, and he's really passionate about the neighborhoods. I really wanted to work with a realtor that was familiar with the housing market. The housing market here is super, super competitive. Buffalo is moving fast. It's a seller's market. If a buyer sees a home that they love, it's advantageous for us to get out there as fast as possible, get them in there, see if they love it so we can put an offer in. Uh, the code of ethics is literally everything for me. Not to take advantage of your client, show full fiduciary with your client, confidentiality, fair housing, getting folks into the homes that they are worthy of, that they have worked hard to save up for. That's how I navigate through, through real estate. I really was looking for a home that was not built after 1920s. She wanted wood floors. Um, she loved old oak wood throughout the home. The thing that I really was attracted to at first was the original plaster moldings and the features on the inside, but I was concerned about the outside. And Damien was really good about telling me to, you know, look at the house. Yeah, you might not like it, but just why don't we just go look at it? Like, this looks really amazing. This looks really, really unusual. I love being in homes, me studying architecture. I love going into homes. So the process of hunting, I enjoy it. I enjoy building a relationship with a buyer and educating them the whole way through. I'm not really a salesman, to be honest with you. Folks always choose their homes. So I'm just here to educate because for me, a home is more than just a home. It's also a financial tool. The first time I saw it, I was sitting on the porch and there's this really great old maple tree out front. I was sitting there, I was like, wow, this is nice. Like, I think I could live here. This is just, I could just stay here all day. And then we were walking around and it's the first room that we came into. We came in through the door and then came to the right room. It was this room that we're in right now. And it smelled exactly like my family house in Pennsylvania. I always know once I hear that they pick out a Christmas tree or place their baby's crib in a bedroom, I know that's the one for them. So, you know, I, I'm just informing them of uh, how that furnace looks, the electrical panel, the roof. Um, in a sense, just looking at the mechanics as opposed to the cosmetics. As we were going up the steps, there's like a curb to the steps. And as we were on the curb, I turned around Damien, I'm like, I don't even need to see the top floor. Like, I'm done, this is it. I want to see, I want this house. Like, this is it. Johanna was a cash buyer, cash is king. And with that, I can leverage that to get a deal. So if there's a list price here, if I have a cash offer, I can probably get it here. Um, so right there, she's instantly walking into equity. Growing up overseas, I didn't really, appreciate or know the value of owning a piece of land. Once I got into Valinor and I realized that I was staying here, I'm like, this is amazing. And I can fill it with stuff and things and plants. And so it started off with like one orchid. And after that, <laughs> it's gone to about, I think I might have 400 house plants. It's not just a home, it's a base. So I can still always have something that I created and that I love to come back to.